Will modern women ever stop criticizing men for having preferences? That seems like too much to ask. These women have become experts at shaming anyone whose preferences don't align with theirs. They can date multiple guys simultaneously, use them for resources, and put them in the friend zone. But if a man simply wants a woman who will cook and clean for him, suddenly he's labeled as an immoral human being. This behavior reflects a lack of maturity. An 18-year-old man can't complain about not getting attention from women if he doesn't work on himself and grow as an individual. However, a leftover woman feels entitled to lecture men on what they should seek in a partner simply because she thinks she's a perfect 10. What do you mean, ooh? I genuinely wonder what happens when these younger girls outgrow their much older partner by maturity level. Because when you're 19 years old and you're dating a 29, 30 year old, you genuinely think to yourself, oh my God, like he's so mature and he's so grown and like he has a, his life so together. But it's because it's not that hard to impress a 19 year old girl. A lot of times these older men, and I've seen it as late as like a 60 year old man, a 40 year old man, they're dating much younger women because these younger women don't really require them to rise up to the standard of their actual age. And a lot of times these older men date younger women because women their age are having expectations of them and telling them, if you're going to be with me, you have to do X, Y, and Z. And when you're younger, it's not that you're dumb. You just don't have the emotional maturity to really ask of these things from your partner. Excuses, excuses, and more excuses. It seems like these women aren't getting the type of men they desire. In today's video, we'll delve into why leftover women are upset with the men and, more importantly, why men don't even care about them. Stay tuned because I'm sure you'll find this discussion intriguing. But before we proceed, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Torgonius. He said, Somehow, they think calling me insecure is the key to my wallet. Please don't forget to contact us via email to claim your $5 for that comment of the day. As usual, I'll select one comment from each video, whether it's the funniest, the most liked, or one that deeply resonates with me. So make sure to leave a comment for a chance to be our next winner. And don't forget to like and subscribe as it greatly helps us out. Now, let's get back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. The rise of frustrated leftover women is undoubtedly a consequence of their own actions. They spend their prime years casually dating multiple men, including those with questionable reputations, while dismissing the men who genuinely take them seriously. Once their value declines and no man wants to commit to them, they blame men who prefer younger women or those without a complicated past. As a man, it's not advantageous to pursue a woman of a certain age burdened with emotional baggage. Not only will she constantly compare you to her exes, but she will also have high expectations to find happiness. Just as she has the right to set her own standards, you are also entitled to yours. If she doesn't meet your criteria, she can freely seek someone else. I'm sure there will be plenty of individuals who will go to great lengths to be with her, but such men are exceptions rather than the norm. When a woman, and this is the thing is, I, this is a real life story, like I know the situation, 40 years old, yeah, has 12 kids, still single to this age, 40 years old. Do you think any man wants her? Yes. She nope. has 12 kids. Man, listen, a listen, man listen, listen. No, 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 no
After years of hard work and personal growth to achieve success as a man, would you settle for a woman with baggage, low fertility, and emotional trauma? Absolutely not. Throughout your journey of becoming financially stable, physically fit, and an all-around desirable partner, women feel at liberty to reject you, criticize your appearance, or label you as broke and inadequate. Despite the unfair treatment, men rise above it and focus on self-improvement. Once they attain success, they refuse to settle for a woman who demands a lot, offers little in return, and brings turmoil rather than peace. I recently came across a thought-provoking Quora post that perfectly encapsulates this perspective. The question posed by a woman was, After enjoying an adventurous and exciting life in my 20s, I'm now ready to settle down with a nice husband. But why do such good men avoid marriage? Hasn't feminism taught them not to judge a woman's sexual history? Where are all the good guys? And a man's response was, Good men have standards and options. High value good men have high standards and a lot of options. They want conservative women who are feminine and in their prime. They do not want sexually liberated feminist women who are no longer in their prime and have been with countless bad boys. Men have been like this since the beginning of civilization in all cultures. Feminism can say whatever, but it won't change the mind of good men. Most men do not avoid marriage. They avoid sexually liberated feminist women. The words spoken by that man truly hit the nail on the head, my fellow MGTOWs. The core issue lies in the fact that many of these so-called leftover women fall into the category of sexually liberated feminist women. You see, men, in their simplicity, know what they want, yet they're shamelessly criticized and shamed for having their own preferences. Isn't that ironic? These women freely express their opinions, but we must remind ourselves that they are just that, opinions and certainly not moral lessons. Men will always gravitate towards simplicity, seeking non-combative, feminine women without emotional baggage or unrealistic expectations. Women have to understand this. Y'all are hard-headed, and women don't listen. Sometimes. That's a very likewise Why statement. No, no, no. Hell no. Stop. Stop. Coming no, no, no. from a man Stop. saying no, the hard-headed no. I'm Stop. just saying no. that's a listen. very likewise statement. No, but it, doesn't, it <laughs> does not matter. What I'm trying to say is she had eight failed relationships. You're not going to sit here and convince me that it was not a safe space and guys don't like to talk. No, they're talking. She's not being receptive. Right. Everybody talks in different ways. If you have eight failed relationships, you don't know how to listen. You do not know how to take direction and direction is not like I don't want to put that in a submissive aspect, but taking direction like maybe, hey, you know what? You need to just do this just this way. So then that way you get further in your life. And guess what? Maybe she doesn't listen in that regard. Hey, if you want for me and you to be better, I need you to do this so then I could give you that. Maybe she's not listening in that regard. Majority of the time, these men don't want you to work or don't want you, you know, uh, uh, going out there and making moves so they can control you. It's not a situation. I just want to mm -hmm. treat you like a queen that you are. I want you to just just still no. I want to control. I want to dictate. So when you get to acting mm -hmm. a fool, I can say, get out of my house exactly. or give me my car back or give hey, me my clothes back. That's what I want to ask a woman that goes after these type of men. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they call y'all gold diggers. Man, you playing the game. Do your thing. But I would want to ask a woman of like of chasing that type of caliber, like, are you willing to give it up or give up everything? Everything in your free will to, to live a certain lifestyle? Instead of building with somebody, y'all getting to the upper middle middle class and have the same lifestyle? Thing is they not, bro. They think that they can have it both ways. Yep. I feel like I'm dope enough to come in here and still be able to get my way. But when they get into that situation, they run into a guy like that and he's not budging on shit. You're gonna do it my That's way or you're gonna leave. Now, let's explore a well-known phenomenon, the attraction of some men to younger women. This topic has been extensively discussed in various studies and has garnered significant attention in popular culture. So, why do some men prefer to pursue relationships with younger women? Well, there are several potential reasons. First, physical attraction plays a significant role. Younger women are often perceived as more physically attractive due to their smoother skin, fuller lips, and overall youthful features. These qualities are commonly associated with beauty and fertility, which naturally appeal to men on a primal level. Secondly, 
Youthful energy and vitality are highly valued. Younger women are often seen as more energetic and vibrant, which can be incredibly appealing to men who seek partners capable of keeping up with their active lifestyles. The prospect of shared adventures and a dynamic connection can be a powerful draw. Thirdly, cultural and societal norms undoubtedly influence preferences in dating. In certain cultures, youth and beauty are highly valued, shaping the preferences of men seeking romantic partners. While societal expectations can fluctuate, the influence is undeniable. Lastly, power dynamics can come into play. Men may feel a sense of power or control when dating younger women who look up to them and seek their approval. This dynamic can be enticing for some, boosting their confidence and ego. It's crucial to remember that despite the ideologies that may influence the minds of these leftover women, the masculine imperative remains strong. Men are free to choose the partners they desire, just as women often choose to date older men when they are young. Yet, it's rather hypocritical for women to hold such double standards, isn't it? They enjoy indulging in their fantasies and exercising their own preferences, while simultaneously shaming men for doing the same. It's time for some introspection, but they'll always blame external agents. Hope their cats can stand their insane amounts of entitlement. Stay strong, guys. As always, I wish you immense success. Now it's your turn. What are your thoughts? What other reasons do women use to justify that men who don't choose them are somewhat flawed? Have you ever dated a woman with such beliefs? Share your experiences and opinions in the comment section below. Remember, the best comment will receive $5. Thank you for watching. If you found value in this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to stay updated with future uploads. Also, leave a comment and share this video. Until next time.